In this week's Higher Ed Highlights, the University of Cincinnati took center stage at two events this past week, and Chancellor Gardner had the opportunity to visit two more of Ohio's independent campuses. On March 6th, the Chancellor joined Governor Mike DeWine, Lieutenant Governor John Husted, and UC President Neville Pinto for an announcement at the university's 1819 Innovation Hub. Jobs Ohio, the state's economic development corporation, announced that it has committed to invest $100 million to accelerate research and development initiatives at UC and Cincinnati Children's Hospital. The major investment, which will help to create the Cincinnati Innovation District, was touted by Jobs Ohio President J.P. Nassif. Over 10 years, this collaboration with the University of Cincinnati and Cincinnati Children's Hospital is expected to accelerate the creation of over 15,000 science, technology, engineering, and math-related graduates, up to $2 billion of additional capital investment from participant stakeholders, partners, and others. Governor DeWine credited the collaboration of UC and Cincinnati Children's Hospital for making the Innovation District a reality. This announcement today could not take place without the fact that we have these two phenomenally strong institutions. Um, having strong institutions makes all the difference uh, in the world. Earlier in the week, President Pinto and other UC representatives were at the Ohio State House to announce the launch of the Ohio Cyber Range Institute, a statewide virtual training environment for cybersecurity that will be housed at UC. Chancellor Gardner provided remarks about the Cyber Range, a place where curriculum can be developed for use across the state, and one that positions Ohio as a national leader in the cybersecurity field. This isn't just about uh, the state and statewide. It's about local governments. It's about K through 12 education, higher education, business and industry. Um, all are certainly in need of effective cybersecurity protection. Um, and so that's, it's important to know that this affects everyone in the state. While in Southwest Ohio, Chancellor Gardner took time for two campus visits. His first stop was Mount St. Joseph University, where he met with President James Williams and members of his staff before checking out the progress on the university's new field house. His second visit was to Xavier University, where he met with the university's provost, Dr. Melissa Bauman. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed. And check out our website at ohiohighered.org. Thank you for watching and come back next week for another round of Higher Ed Highlights.